Morning to you on this Monday morning. I trust you had a, a great weekend. We continue this week with Psalm 119, and today we read from verses 121 through to 128. I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant for good. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail with longing for your salvation and for your righteous word. Deal with your servant according to your loving kindness, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding, that I may know your testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have broken your law. Therefore I love your commandments above gold, yes, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem right all your precepts concerning everything. I hate every false way. Psalmist continues describing his relationship with the world, his relationship with the enemies, and his relationship with God and his word. I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant for good. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. And you know, God is always on our side. And if God is for us, who can be against us, Paul wrote. My eyes fell with longing for your salvation and for your righteous word. Do you long for God's salvation, not only for people, but for this whole world, this whole world? The world is groaning and moaning under the weight of sin. But the day of salvation draws near. It is nigh. Jesus will return. There will be a new heaven, a new earth, and everything will be wonderful. No more death, pain, sickness, no more viruses, no more sin. We look forward to that time. My eyes fell with longing for your salvation and for your righteous word. God's word is righteous and wonderful. Deal with your servant according to your loving kindness and teach me your statutes. That's a prayer that God loves to answer. Deal with your servant according to your loving kindness. He's always showing us his loving kindness. We live by grace alone. Teach me your statutes. God has given us his Holy Spirit who abides in our hearts who teaches us God's word, if we allow him, and if we ask him. I am your servant, give me understanding, that I may know your testimonies. If we ask God for understanding, he will open the eyes of our understanding, that we can go deeper and deeper into his word, and understand more and more about him. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have broken your law. It is time, I, I sometimes marvel at the patience of God, how long he has waited. He is waiting to bring the new heaven, the new earth. He's waiting to send Jesus back. He's waiting patiently so that more people would be saved. And that puts an onus on us to get the gospel out as quickly and efficiently as we can. I love your commandments above gold, yes, above fine gold. There's nothing more valuable than the Bible. All the gold and silver in the world is nothing compared to the Word of God. Remember, all the earthly treasures... We're going to leave them behind. They'll all pass away. But this, the word of God, abides forever. I esteem right all your precepts concerning everything. And I hate every false way. May we love every word of God and hate every false way. And then we're on the right track. Let us now join together in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the night's rest. We thank you for the weekend that has now passed. We thank you for a new day. We ask, Lord, that you would help us to live this day with you, to walk with you, to glorify your name. Lord, to be instruments of your peace and your love. As you are kind and merciful, may we also be the same. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We ask, Lord, that you would have mercy upon the sick and the dying. Our thoughts uh, with those places where the virus is ravaging communities and so many people are dying. Lord, have mercy. We pray, Lord, that you would touch the heart of someone today who doesn't know you yet. We pray for those that do know you, that they would ask that you would reveal to them even more of your word and even more of your ways. And help us to be not only hearers, but to be doers of your word. To live out this life, to live out your word in everything we say and do, that we bring glory and honor to your name. Lord, we commend all to you. We pray for our governments and all who are in authority. We live in very challenging and difficult times. And we pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and help them to act in a decent and fair and right way. Root out all the evildoers. Lord, 
We pray for the church. We pray that you would bless her and keep her and strengthen her, that her light would shine brightly in these days. And now, Lord, we ask that you would hear us as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray you have a blessed day today. God be with you, God willing. I'll see you all again tomorrow as we continue with this psalm.